Hey guys, what's going on? I uh, got drawn for elk this year. I want to do a quick little video on um, building up a load for my 7 odd 8. I had uh, used it for a deer hunt, hadn't shot a deer, um, but for Nicole, it was a great rifle. Um, it's the uh, it's a Howa 1500 action, and I put it on this uh, Blackhawk um, recoil reduction uh, stock system, and then painted it and did all kinds of whatnot to it. Uh, eventually, I actually took off the butt plate. Um, it had probably another half inch uh, butt plate on the back side here. I just took it off, flipped it around, and screwed it back on um, to give me a better uh, length of pull. And then also cut down the front here. It had another two inches sticking off the front with a 20 inch barrel. Just kind of looked goofy. So uh, cut that off, <clears throat> drilled out a new uh, pin, and uh, it works pretty good. I like the aesthetics of it, the feel of it. It's about 8.3 uh, pounds. Uh, with scope um, yeah anyway that's the rifle I'm trying to get it dialed in and I've gone through I don't know how many loads a lot um, using 140 grain burgers and I just recently at this trip uh, threw in some 120 grain Barnes triple shock uh, ballistic tipped um, bullets I couldn't go to the 140s I know everybody's thinking 120s for an elk but I couldn't go to the 140s uh, with the um, triple shock only because they say 1800 to 2000 feet per second you're getting full expansion on those barns uh, bullets and i wanted this rifle to be at least 500 yard rifle at 500 yards uh, with a 40 140 grain bullet it's just not going fast enough to give me an expansion i can only get it with the 120s so hopefully it'll work out um <laughs> i say hopefully it'll work out but unfortunately the 120s just didn't shoot as well as the one uh the 120s didn't shoot as well as 140s and for that reason, uh, probably gonna stick with the 140s. Finally found a powder, uh, XMR 4350. I had, um, let's see here, 43 grains of the XMR 4350. Uh, gave me, it looks about an inch. I'll get a, a micrometer on it and see exactly what the, the um, spread is here. But three shot group, uh, that's actually the best I've gotten. Last trip out was 1.35 inches group. Um, this is at 100 yards. I don't know if it's the stock, plastic stock gives me a little, not as, you know, it's not bedded, um, just not as solid as a, uh, it could be. I've been taking breaks, shooting the 22 Nosler and my 22 to 50 in between to keep the barrel cool. It's a really narrow, small uh, 20 inch uh, barrel on that. So it eats up pretty quick. Even so, I think this is gonna be acceptable. We'll yeah, I wish that was the case. Unfortunately, I have delved into the realm of overhauling the 7 odd 8. Uh, I'm going to paint it, I'm going to bed it, and I'm going to lap the scope rings and remount the scope. Hopefully between all those things, and I'm going to clean the heck out of the barrel. So hopefully between all those things, we can find an accurate gun. So let's get to it. cut this uh, night short went to uh, start getting the tape that's what I got so uh, I got some crappier scotch tape but um, just not gonna do so we're gonna put this on hold till tomorrow definitely warm out here in the garage but I think we should be good as far as uh, getting everything painted out um, I got everything hung up jerry rigged um, up to the eyelets from the rooftop tent um, taped off and we should be good got to mix the uh, two-part uh, aerosol and then uh, spray it out Well, I 
got it all painted out. Uh, I'm just getting sick here, and it's been a pain in the butt um, out here in the hot garage painting. But uh, got it all knocked out. I put four coats on. I had three. I saw a little light spot on the uh, bolt itself, so I hit them all up again with uh, four coats. Um, they are matte black, like you've seen, but a uh, little backstory of the whole black situation. Um, I ordered five samples from the Duraco website uh, thinking there was a difference in the blacks. Guess what? There's not really much difference. I got a matte black, I got a H&K black, I got a tactical black, I got an ultra dip black. I got all these different blacks that are pretty much the exact same. Um, you can hardly tell the difference. I don't know if it's like one drop difference, but not significant enough to, for you to sweat out there. I was doing it, and uh, let me just tell you, don't worry about it. Order a black, you'll be happy. Um, I did go with matte black here, like I said. Um, I like it. I think it matches the uh, loophole uh, scope uh, pretty well, as well as the rings and everything. It's a pretty good match uh, overall. So. Gonna wait a little bit uh, to get this thing assembled. I'm gonna let it cure completely. Um, and then also, I have to bed the rifle. So that's gonna be the next step in the process. So um, not sure if I'll do it on this video, let the, send this video out, or if I'll uh, just combine them both. Sorry, that's it for now. Just the uh, painting of the gun. But luckily, the entire process is complete. I have the gun back together. I haven't shot it yet, but it's back together. So we just need to edit the video. Um, have a little faith, we'll get it out there. Trust me, you wanna to, wanna to stay tuned for it because it's um, eye-opening learning experience, I guess you wanna say. Uh, anyway, we'll get that out to you quick. Make sure to hit the little bell thing maybe and uh, you can stay up to date with all the next videos that we have coming out. All right, thanks.